You pilots really deserve a pat on the back. Getting that supply station was what everybody needed. If you looked around, everyone's more alert. Walking tall, looking good. I think we were all half dead until that station went up in flames. Now, now the pilots have hope. Hope that maybe we can win. That's what they needed. So, drinks on the house, right? <laughs> Alright, talk to Ice. Sit down, Maverick. It's coming down to the wire. The enemy fleet is going to head straight to us now. Straight into our trap. I want that ship with the secret weapon. The one that destroyed Goddard. We're wingmates on the strike against that ship. Don't get me between me and her. That ship is going down no matter what. No matter what. Okay, Ice. Alright, talk to boss. Maverick. Any bets on which one of us is going to bag the ship with the Kilrathi secret weapon? That'll be something to have on your permanent record. I already killed a station. So-and-so of Tiger's Claws credited with the kill of the Kilrathi ship that destroyed Goddard Colony. I just hope that our boys in tactical get a clean view on the kill. Is that what gun camera footage is for? I need to ship with a carrier load of pilots, all of whom think they'd put in that final missile. Again, gun camera footage. Or HUD footage. Something. Alright, anyway. Site of the destroyed Kilrathi Supply Depot. Two killer bees captured a Kilrathi courier ship yesterday when we were attacking the supply depot. We now have a schematic, less than two days old, of the Kilrathi strike patrol assignments in Vega Sector. What this means is that if we do manage to get back home safely, we're going to be able to nail those cats in Vega Sector. Applause and cheers echo through the briefing room. The other news is that the bees identified the Kilrathi ship with the secret weapon. A super dreadnought, which we've codenamed the Savar. This may be the same ship that was sighted by our pilots, not far from our own position. That ship will be our main target, pilots. We're going to lure her to this location and destroy her completely, and the Kilrathi secret weapon. Now we need to concentrate on today's mission. Tiger's Claw is now positioned where the base station was. This means we're probably going to intercept some incoming ships. Now a lot of them will be short on fuel or in desperate need of repairs. But we can't bet that any ship coming in will be an easy kill. And we can't afford for any of them to tell the Savar that we're here. So shoot to kill, pilots. Ignore all radio communications from the Kilrathi. They can send out an emergency beacon to the Savar while they stay on the horn with you, pretending to, to negotiate. More good news. You've been reassigned to rapiers for this mission. About damn time. We need our newest, best starfighters for these missions. Each wing will have an individual assignment. Listen for your name. Wait as the colonel assigns the other wings. 
Sigma Wing will be Maverick and Iceman with Maverick as wing leader. You're running a comet style patrol mission. Remember those? No. Launch, then move out to 1500 clicks and circle the tiger's claw. A few times. If you see any cats, attack and destroy. When you're sure the area is clear, run out to Nav 1. This area is one of the closest jump points. And we can expect some incoming Kilrathi to pop up here. Shoot over to Nav 2 next. Clear it of bogeys and head for Nav 3. Once you've eliminated any enemy forces there, return to the Claw. Immediately upon your return, Epsilon will launch and head to Nav 1. In other words, we're doing a constant rotation of wings. Until we know where the enemy is coming from, these nav points will be under constant observation. Dismissed. There's nothing around the tiger's claw for now. Take it. Get the other one. There we go. There's the angle I want. And ice bags, the other one. So off we go to Nav 2. Try 
Try not to ram anything. Not until I'm desperate. Try not to ram them, but I will if they don't get out of the way. And I've got full shields. I should probably stop doing that. Got him. Had two transports at Nav 1, a Rolari at Nav 2. Let's see what's waiting for us at Nav 3. Quite how I wanted to execute that attack. gotten three kills by ramming in this run. Alright, and that's toast, and that's frothy. Just let Ice attack however he wants to. I'm just going to sit back and shoot lasers.
we're clear. Take a little bit of damage. All right. And surprise, surprise, something's in between us and the claw. Look, Mom, more cramps. couple of missiles though just in case because I feel like something might be waiting at the claw. Nope. All right we're good. to go. <laughs> yeah, I kind of got my ship a little beat up. Back, Maverick. Report. Yes, sir. Nav 1, I saw a cramp patrol coming in, escorting a pair of tankers. And the way they moved, I think they were low on fuel. Routine refueling wing returning from its mission. Both of the tankers are trashed, Colonel. Rolari and its Gratha F escort were cruising through NAV-2. They had apparently just jumped into the system. The Lari is splashed, sir. The real show, sir, was at NAV-3. A frothy cra class cruiser was jumping in with a jolty escort. My guess is they were responding to a distress call from the former depot. Those mothers are tough, but that frothy is toasted. Wonderful, Maverick. Glad you contain the news of our presence. And the fleet's likely to continue her present course. Damn good job, mister. Kills totaled 15, Maverick. Iceman killed two himself. Good work. Dismissed. 